Welcome to the video by DJSBRC. We have Project Cherokee here. But before, I want to say to you guys or girls, this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com. Check out the website, it's awesome. Like I was saying, we do have Project Cherokee here. Uh, the body is painted. Now, I know for the moment you're just seeing the physical top and hood. Uh, it is a zombie theme. Uh, Project Zombie. I could, I could have said too. The Cherokee. But one of the things I did to this vehicle, there is lights in it. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you. I will grab the camera, do uh, a walk around the vehicle with the lights on. Uh, but before we get to that point, let me just plug them in. Uh, they will be running with the ESC. Uh, but for the moment, I'm just using a battery. Uh, you physically see it here. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the back end. You'll see my hand. It's lighting up. Uh, what I did before it got painted, I maxed off where the tail lights would be. And I physically used the stock sticker to get the light to shine through. And the reason I... There's a reason why I can't remove the body and show you, and I'll show you guys in a second or two here. Uh, but the physical light shows through the original sticker that goes with the body. I didn't want to paint one section. If I didn't paint it correctly, it would not, I wouldn't like the look it done. Uh, this way, it's perfect, and I like it a lot. Okay, let's back up this battery here. And you'll see the front end here. Come on, light, focus. But light, but the camera doesn't really want to focus. But again, you have the headlights and the markers. Now, if I physically remove the body off the vehicle, one of the major things that's always happening when you put the lights in your body you forget about your wiring and when you remove your body 80% of the time eh, give or take you'll rip the wires off because even if you did it 15 million times the same day you're always forgetting about those wires but taking this body off we physically have no wires any wires are are on the body itself some of you will be looking at this video saying how is this possible very simple right here on the physical body posts are some uh, copper a copper sheet that I got copper sheet like this and I took the time to physically cut around a washer I used one of the Traxxas body washers and I cut around it now there is another piece that I'd use for the body that I forgot to go grab before doing this video but the magic of wireless mics lets me do this. <laughs> um, for the body itself, I use uh, basically a copper sheet. I don't know if you can see it here, but you see traces of hands holding it. When I drilled these holes out, uh, I was trying to drill them brown as perfectly as round as possible. And I was able to cut some spares just in case if I did uh, boo boo. But it actually physically worked out. And because of the lightning, you don't really see it. Basically, right there on top, soldered on the sides. And when I set the body down, they automatically light up. 
Uh, and the other thing too, adding this washer here, what I can do here, put this guy aside. I put enough wire, if I ever need to, for some reason to remove them, I am able. And you see the plastic washer right here and pop it back up. And I could have done with straight wire, but I used the Tessa tape that I love a lot and basically Tessa taped it to the body post, bring it down here, then brought, brought routed on the back here, right here, and channeled it along the frame to bring in the receiver box. Now I have unplugged it, and like I said, I am using a battery here, but it will be permanently plugged in the vehicle. When I plug in my battery, they will turn on. Um, and on the body itself, I just route it on the side, hold them with a couple tie wraps, use Tessa tape again. You don't need to, you could use normal tape if you wanted to. I prefer to use the Tessa tape, uh, gives, out, gives out a cleaner look. And use a connector here for some reason or not, I need to unconnect the lights. One got damaged, I don't want to shirt out anything. Easier to unconnect right here, then try to mess around in the vehicle or remove the pads. I just rather put a connection there and you align the front and when your bottom sits down both your your light turns on now if I lift the back end they turn off now adding the washer in the back that just gives me a little bit more less chance to make them to shut off just the physical body post or body post body pin is hard to come in to put in now you can see there we go that way it doesn't move if I put it in the front I'll have some wiggle and if I'm running on the trails things like that my lights are going to be blinking I don't want that doing that got me the chance of not having any play in the back that's one of the reasons I wanted to do it that way now, the other thing I did, what I was explaining about the rear lights, I'm just going to remove this out of the way. Like I was explaining earlier, I used those physical stickers from the uh, sticker sheet of the vehicle. But what I did, I did some pods, light pods in the back. Uh, built them out of styrene. Try to bring it closer, hoping she wants to focus. There you go. And it just followed the contour, the contour, wow, of the physical body itself, sanded and sanded, and to make sure it follows the body then I made two tabs on each side to be able to screw them in now there is a 3d uh, file to make pods uh, light pods for these guys uh, especially this body here uh, I said to myself I could remove these but I spent maybe 20 minutes on both of them uh, to make them they're not they're easy to do uh, basically what I use is styrene sheets that, uh, we, the Grit Hobbies has, wrong one, there we go, this guy here, it's going to be hard to see, oh, there you go, it's, uh, small squares, what I did, I went to the body, I said, okay, this is roughly about three squares, squares, three squares, counted six, bend it. I had my rough shape. And then I cut a little bit of the tabs on the side, glued them with CA glue. <clears throat> and then I drilled my holes. The other thing I did too, I do have a video on this, uh, liquid chrome. Same thing I did with the lights in front. It helps a lot to reflect the light. And the other thing I did, 
I grab one of my uh, my LEDs. If you grab a set of LEDs and light them up, they'll do a point, like a round, round light, or whatever. I don't know how you can call it exactly. Um, a spot. There you go. I did not want that in the rear because a, a, a normal light in the vehicle won't do that. I grabbed some sandpaper and sand it off the top of the LED. It prevents that round spot. And this is what I did with both in the back. In the back, I do have a red one and an amber one. Same thing as like in the front front, that's white instead of red. Uh, and that's what I did. And now when I plug it in the vehicle, it lights up, it looks nice. The front looks nice too. And yeah, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that uh, like button if you like this video. And that bell notification if you want to be notified next time I upload a video. And don't forget to subscribe. And go check out Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com And I will grab the camera on the vehicle. Go around and be able to show you the body. Uh, exactly how I uh, painted it, uh, the theme I'm looking for, basically. And we will have another video coming up how exactly I did this. Thank you for watching.